Hello, welcome. Press pause, try the problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so let's read this question. It says, express this fraction, so this is our fraction right here, in simplest radical form. So here they want it in simplest radical form, so they're looking for us to use some kind of root sign or radical sign or something. And they want us to basically divide and subtract exponents and simplify until there's nothing left to do. So let's go through that. So in this problem, what I would do first is I would kind of look at my denominator here. Let's break this piece down. So this means we have 16 times x to the fourth. Those two factors are being multiplied. And the whole thing is raised to the 1 fourth power. So the first thing I would do is distribute this exponent to these two factors. You can distribute exponents to factors as long as uh, the exponent is outside the parentheses and all of your factors are inside the parentheses. So that means we're looking at 16 to the 1 fourth times x to the fourth, the second factor, to the fourth. So I've distributed this exponent to both factors, and that's really cool, right? Because it's just like distributing multi uh, multiplication over addition, except it's exponentiation distributed over multiplication, the whole thing up a level. Man, I love mathematics. Okay, so 16 to the 1 fourth, what is that? That's the fourth root of 16. So some number multiplied four times, that gives you 16, and that's 2. And then over here, our law of exponents, right? if we look at this combination right here, we're going to multiply these two. It goes back to the law of exponents that something to the m power to the nth power equals a to the m times n power. So 4 times a fourth, that's 1. So it's really just x to the first, or just 2x. OK, we've got that part. So now we're almost done. We've got 2x to the 3 halves, that was in our numerator, divided by 2x. So let's establish that in the numerator here, this exponent of 3 halves is only applying to x. Right? It's not applying to the whole thing. If you had something different, like let's say it was 2x in parentheses to the 3 halves, then this exponent would apply to both factors. But we don't have that right here. This exponent of 3 halves is just sticking to the x right here. It's only applying to that. Well, what do we do next? Well, I like to write, rewrite this. Okay, So this is the same equivalent thing here, written differently. Think about it, right? If we were to multiply these two fractions, 2 times x to the 3 halves, that's our numerator, and 2 times x down here is our denominator. The reason I do this is so you can see that 2 divided by 2 is 1, and they cancel out. So in this step right here, if you have multiplication, you can just cancel out common factors and div by dividing them. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And over here, to simplify this, we're going to subtract the exponents. If you remember your law of exponents here, let's put a 1 down here. This is really x to the first. When you have a situation like this where you're dividing equal bases, you are got to subtract your exponents. So you have some number a to the m divided by a to the n. That's going to equal a to the m minus n. And that's great. When you multiply equal bases, you add the exponents. So the opposite happens here. When you divide equal bases, you're subtracting exponents. And it just fits so nicely. You can't help, help but just marvel at the simplicity of it, right? Like it all fits. So x to the 3 halves. And then that's being divided by x to the first. So we're subtracting 1 away, which is 2 over 2. That's 1. And this is going to be our answer. x to the 3 halves minus 2 halves, that's x to the 1 half. So that's the second root of x, or the square root of x. So when you see something like this right here, it comes. Uh, uh, what we want to think about is this definition, that x to the 1 over n power is the nth root of x. All right, another nice definition to think about. All right, I hope this helped. Oh, so maybe it's not clear. Your answer is right here. This is in radical form, completely simplified, nothing left to do. To do. Thank you.